Oh, it's a beautiful day. Wednesday, the 28th of August, I think it is. Almost September. It's a low 70s out here right now. A little muggy, a little sticky. About noon. Heading into work here in a little bit. There's your time check. Kevin's probably on the road down to California right now, so I gotta swing by and go check on his dog. But we're gonna play with this thing for a little bit. Had a wee little bit of an issue yesterday when I was heading into work. It was making a funny grindy kind of noise and that doesn't sound good. Thought well maybe the spare tire carrier was loose. You know, sometimes there's always latch, got a double latch. Well, then I started... I don't know if it's going to do it now. Kind of hear it a little bit there. I thought, well, it's the latch. Busted. And then I started seeing... It's showing up the cracks. And the broken bits. And the bent. That should be straight out, not angled. So, uh, yeah, my spare tire carrier's doing So I parked it and took the silver truck in. But we are going to see what it's going to take to pull this off. Pull the wheel off, get that off, take that bracket. I'm, uh, oh, we can, uh, oh, we can remove this. It's going to leave a whole bunch of holes in my tailgate, but worry about that is when the time comes and I gotta get a light for up in there going to the junkyard Friday throw that on the list I was gonna say well maybe I'll just transfer that over but I think we'll just remove it all together throw the spare tire in the back I'd like to do a new rear bumper anyway on this thing Not that I really need to. I'm actually going to put the front bumper on it here soon. I haven't ordered it yet, but I'll show you that when the time comes. See, I don't have the provisions inside to mount the spare inside. If somebody makes a kit for that, if it'll even fit standing up. I don't know. Let's uh, go ahead and pull that tire off, and of course I'm going to lose my CB antenna mount, but oh well, it is what it is. Let's get that tire off. Alrighty, I can see the damage a little bit more. It's cracked right through there. That's separate. That's actually been separated for a while. <clears throat> this one you can see the rust coming through, so that's been busted. These are still intact for the most part, but. I'm just going to scrap this. I'm not going to reuse it. I could probably re-weld some bracketry on there or whatnot, but time for something a little bit different. And then the mount on the uh, on the bumper there is a little worn out. So I think we're just going to remove it all together. I guess it's time for a little bit something different. We'll just toss the spare in the back, strap it down. I still got the tie down points in this thing, a couple of them anyway. There's a couple more up front or what, but just throw the spare on the ground and on the floor in there. So, I wonder if I got a deal big enough for that. You can see it bends the bottom out too every time this thing swings open. That's a pretty heavy tire to be putting on this lift. If you look here, you can see the deformation too. Uh, this is bent down, and this is even a little curve to it. So, I'm just going to call this one quits. If anybody wants it, wait, the whole thing's twisted actually. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but you can see this part's angled and it kicks in the other way towards the base there. So, see a little bend. Right down here, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. Probably, but and it may do that just to kick the tire back a little bit. But if anybody's interested in this and you're close, give me a holler. You're more than welcome to it. 
Otherwise, I'm just going to throw her in the scrap pile. Change the look of the rig again. See what we got for tools to get this thing apart. Alrighty, we got our little socket set here. I wonder if we got one that'll fit. Look at that, first try. Toasty warm. Oh, yeah. That one's in there good and tight still. I get some adapters and a breaker bar. Alrighty, so that bottom one, I don't know, it doesn't want to bust loose. Let's see why it wouldn't. Everything else is loose. I tried to undo, I don't know if it's showing the camera, there's one here and I got two more bolts holding this bracket on. I was going to try to bust those off, but I got a trailer hitch in the way, so it's not fit. Dude, I can't find my breaker bar. A little half inch drive, or three eighths, whatever it is. Good. Good bite on it. So I had to, I could just cut that off. But rather, oh, she wants to. You really need to find my breaker bar. Hey, look long enough and you'll find it. Yeah, we had some rain last night, so the humidity's through the roof right now. There she goes. Start the turn. Chunks out of the out of the screw. I'm gonna do with that oil. Can't see in there, but never a good dosing. There's a lot of mud in there. Yeah, I like having the tire on the back, keeps it out of the cabin. But, remember when I put that spare on, I was wondering if it was going to be too heavy. And it helps hold the hole 
assemble it together a little bit more. and install it. Hmm. I think I'm just going to say screw it and cut it off. Sorry if somebody wanted it. It's, uh... Probably gonna pull the bumper off. This has been cut, so I may snag another one of those from the junkyard too, just to have a good one on there. But uh, a couple of holes there. That's I'm not worried about. I have two holes there and one there, and a couple here on the tailgate. You know, unless I come across a good red tailgate out there at the junkyard. I don't know what they're going to want for it. But I can always patch that. And so I need a bumper cover. don't need one. I'll just put one on. I need the light. Unless I find, like I say, a good red tailgate that's in good shape. I'll just snag the whole thing maybe. swap the glass over if it's a non-tent. 
pull the seal and do the swap. And then, uh, oh, I was going to go for a new corner lens. I'll probably get a whole new passenger side bezel. Tire side's in pretty good shape still. Huh? Let's, get it. Let's get them both. What the heck? The grill's still good. So, I think what I'm going to do too is I'm going to pull all this off this weekend. I'm going to shoot it in black to match the fenders and the wheels and all that. New bumper. Hopefully next paycheck I'll order that. Got a nice off-road bumper I got in mind. Good price. Looks like it's really well built. So, alrighty, there we are. Poor little Jeep. But, yeah, this weekend we'll just pull the rest of that off. I'm gonna get some lunch made and next I gotta go sneak in and take care of the dog for a little bit I think these probably have nuts on the inside of them because it's fiberglass so they got something back in them I don't think there's any screws holding these on but yeah, there used to be Anyway, we'll uh, we'll play with this some more later. I'm gonna head inside and get ready for work. It's gonna be another hot, muggy, nasty day inside that factory. People don't like to open the doors because it gets windy inside there. Screw them if they're you know screw everybody that's sweltering. So anyway, there'll be more videos on this thing this weekend. Catch y'all later. Bye bye. All right, I know I said I was gonna go get ready for work, but I still got 15 minutes. Went ahead and popped those off. That's the internal support. There's the external bracket. Five little screws holding that bugger on. So now I just got to uh, like I said, go get my license plate light. I can move that over. And like I said, either if they got a good red tailgate out there, I may just snag it and throw it on this thing. Or I'll just get some. Uh, fiberglass patch material fill these holes so that uh, things don't leak but uh, I wouldn't throw the panel back on so I keep the speaker somewhat protected there's my spare tire for now color good we'll uh, catch you all next time this time for real bye bye